Hi students, welcome back to my classroom. Last class we learned important five major nutrients and its function and examples. Yes, today we discuss about roughage and water. Before that, we should know about some points. Okay. Most food items usually have more than one nutrients. Okay. Which means in all food items may present or contain different components like vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, proteins, fat. Okay. So in food items, one particular nutrient may be present in much larger quantity than in others. Okay. So most food items usually have more than one nutrient. Okay. Most food items usually have more than one nutrient. For example, rice. Rice has more carbohydrates than other nutrients which means rice contain what uh, more carbohydrates okay compared to other nutrients thus we say that rice is a carbohydrate rich source of food yes besides these nutrients our body needs dietary fibers and water Let's learn about it. First, dietary fibers. Dietary fibers are also known as roughage. Okay, it's also known as roughage. Okay, from where do we get this roughage? Yes, roughage is mainly provided by plant products in our food. Example, whole grains and pulses, potatoes, fresh fruits and vegetables. Is it clear? So, roughage is mainly provided by plant products. Examples, whole grains, pulses, potatoes, fresh fruits and vegetables. Is it clear? But, Refuge does not provide any nutrients to our body but is an essential component of our food. How? It doesn't provide any nutrients but it, how it become essential component? Let's watch. The main function of refuge is helps our body get rid of undigested food. Okay. Helps our body get rid of undigested food get rid of which means to remove okay which helps to remove undigested food it's one of the main important function yes yes the body should remove the waste material with the help of roughage okay let's learn about water another important component yes okay Water helps our body to absorb nutrients from food and it also helps in throwing out some wastes from body as urine and sweat. So the two important main function of water is helps our body to absorb nutrients from food and throwing out some wastes from body as urine and sweat. Okay. What are the sources which provide water to our body? Let's watch. We get most of the water that our body needs from the liquids we drink. Okay? Such as water, milk, tea. And in addition, we add water to most cooked foods and also from vegetables and fruits so these are the main sources okay what are the main sources of food yes liquids we drink and second one we add water to most cooked foods and third one 
from vegetables and fruits these are the main sources of food okay let's wind up today's session today we learn about dietary fibers and water and we discuss its main functions and sources okay if you like this video please subscribe and share thank you it's me nikita